This is George Washbourne, and this is my Knowledge Economy vlog for the internship that I did with Mama & Co over the summer, which is a music events organisation. Broadly speaking, my internship was a digital content and editorial internship, which saw me working on their yet-to-be cultural platform, uh, HTC Straylight, capturing brilliance. Um, a cultural blog which essentially explores examples of brilliance in uh, various different cultural mediums, be it architecture, art, music, film, photography, etc. Um, so my broad responsibilities were to edit and uh, research and write lots of features, articles and blog posts, uh, to undertake interviews with various bands, artists, etc. for the website, uh, redact and uh, transcribe interviews which had already been done and find broadly find digital content that they would see as relevant to their demography and also their general remit as an up-and-coming cultural platform which made use of a range of different skills that related directly to some of the courses that I've studied as part of BAS. Not so much in terms of the course content as a literary major, um, but certainly in terms of the skills I have accrued across the last two years, um, with, with particular reference to the core. Um, IRM is something that jumps out at me when I think about the skills that I used, um, an obvious one being interviews. Um, a lot of the stuff that we learn about interviews I actually put to quite good use um, in terms of my internship and the various interviews that I undertook. Um, broadly, um, the interviews that I did were videoed, which meant that I stuck to a fairly fastidiously fixed um, interview structure where I asked certain questions and didn't allow too much for a back and forth conversation, open style interview, given that the um, content was being videoed and recorded and so I had to be very precise. In terms of the teamwork that I have quite often had to undergo as part of my internship, um, that was certainly redolent of things that we did in IRM and also in the course of thinking what I did last year. Um, a good example of that was when I had to go on site to music festivals that Mama had organised to interview acts for the website. But I also had to manage a team of photographers and videographers and we were all um, given the task of essentially just uh, going out on site and taking photos and trying to capture the essence of the festival. So we sat down, brainstormed what we thought the various essences of the festivals that we were working at were, and then just went out um, with this kind of collective aim to get a lot of digital content for the website and working together and liaising with one another, uh, which certainly made good use of my sort of ability to work in a team. Work, in a team. Um, I also had to quite often pitch articles to my editor, um, which meant I had to present my ideas and such, which was also sort of the of things like the Viva, which we did um, in Ireland in first year. So lots of very broad skill-based uh, relevances with this internship. Um, in terms of the kind of layout, commercial uh, sort of place of the company that I was working for, of course it finds itself in the music industry, which is something is uh, a myriad and sort of rather complex industry in which to work with lots of different branches. This company broadly focused on the live music aspect of it, which is obviously a very important aspect of it and accounts for quite a lot of the revenue that comes in for the music, event, uh, for the music industry. Um, this company own a, a wide range of different venues across London, quite important venues like the Borderline, Coco, um, Camden, the Roundhouse in Camden, etc. Um, which take in a lot of sort of very um, very well-known bands in the mainstream who are particularly popular at the moment. So its commercial place in there is kind of unshakable. It is a lot with management, which gives it a global reach because obviously bands come from all over the world. An example being Snoop Dogg was one of the headliners of the festival that I was working at. And so that sort of global liaising um, is something that was very much uh, present. Um, equally, obviously, the, the blog that I was working for is endorsed by the phone company HTC, which have a global reach, um, and so the global aspect of that uh, definitely came to the fore and was something that was immediately obvious when you were working there from day to day in the office. Um, a sense of the kind of culture of the company was that was something I very much admired because it wasn't hierarchical in the broader sense. Um, different departments worked alongside each other and all had the same goal and were for all focusing on the music festivals at the time in which I was working, which meant there was a lot of interdepartmental inter communication, sharing of ideas and a huge uh, emphasis on innovation and being innovative and original so as to entice further customers in and standing out against the from the crowds of other rather well-known festivals such as Reading and Leeds, Glastonbury, Isle of Wight, etc. and try and get constantly keep getting customers to come back. I guess in that sense there was also a, lot, a large emphasis on getting profit, um, but that was sort of more prospective as opposed to being rigorously from day to day 
getting sales, etc. It was more about sort of customer satisfaction and putting on a good show. That was something I really enjoyed about the interview, uh, internship. The kind of general culture was one that was quite laid back, very creative, very open to ideas, etc. Um, which allowed me to kind of explore various different article uh, ideas and come up with my own sort of thoughts and um, general plans that I wanted for what I wanted the blog to be. I was generally in charge of the whole thing, um, which was a privilege as well as a rather a large responsibility. Um, it's certainly directed my um, career aspirations to be a journalist. Um, it's given me an idea that of the sort of journalism that I would like to be, which isn't broadly the journalism that I undertook on the internship, but I think that's certainly a positive thing that's come from that, and it's given me something to strive for uh, in the future, um, as well as giving me a range of very transferable skills that pertain to the way that modern journalism seems to be going this time. This time. And um, so yes, it was a broadly very successful internship. And uh, one that I very pleased to took.